Hello everyone, Zero Miss Three here. And Brian. Continuing Skyward Sword. So what are we doing now? Well, we're in the uh, Sacred Grounds. And we're gonna exploit that plot big time. Dude. Oh shit. Well, that's a good start already. <laughs> I was about good to say, start. you have to swing where their mouth is open. There you go. There you go. I thought he was gonna like draw out like weird little cues. I have, yeah, I think I have a <laughs> Gotta be quicker. Yeah, there you go. I think the stabbing motion will also work for that. I think. I don't quite remember, but it's worth a shot. Oh, more cinematic. So we get a glimpse at one of our main antagonists throughout this game. It will be residing in that ground there. the door sealed. So we're gonna have to unlock this door. You can just probably jump right off his head there. Let's do it then. No! Just sail cloth. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Quicker way to this is. Let's go check out this amazing rock structure with the Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Oh yeah, that, that's... That's not suggestive at all. I think you should do that. I should do that. Yeah, pull up. <laughs> Take aim. <laughs> so I'm not quite... I'm not, I don't quite remember who that is that was commanding us just then. Someone using some sort of... I don't know. I don't know if they use telepathy or just My mother I don't know. Me some ah yes, dowsing another new. Feature. No, I don't yeah. want to know. We already know the douse fee. Thank you. Basically, it's just uh, detecting. So she tells me, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we say no. Here, let me tell you. Anyway, so all you have to do is press C to select your target, and then you just point your Wii mode around. Oh, it's kind of oh, oh, like oh, oh, the sonar oh. technology. Oh, go. Yep, there. Oh, go down. There you go. And when you get closer, you'll see that little arrow pointing you around. It'll point you in the direction you need to go. And the uh, more intense you read on it, the stronger it signals. So anyway, we're going to follow it up in this direction, see where it points us. See what it wants. I think you might want to check it again. Maybe you're not quite at the top. 
Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, close Ooh. one, close one. Okay, can't get up quite there. There you It's it looks like it's pointing towards that door we were just at. So why don't you just run us around over there? Will you? Gonna run. He, run. he is not gonna make the Olympics at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, don't run too hard now. Skyward Strike apparently unsealed this door for us. So we're going to come inside and we're going to meet a very familiar face. In a very familiar room. Check out that hairpiece. Oh yeah, the map. The map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. All right, so our elderly companion friend here has marked us to the Faron Woods, another familiar, iconic, uh, you say, area zone of the Zelda franchise. The first of many dungeons we will come across. Wanna lay down a beacon? Oh, you gotta lay down a beacon. You gotta point your map and press C. There you go. You have placed a beacon. Now you're thinking with portals. Wait, what? It's like a marker. No. Oh, I can't press B. Wait, what'd you do? I press B. Oh, you have to hit plus. Oh, oh what? Make sure it's directly on the axe. No. Oh. I'm gonna go and press. She yelled at you because you weren't correctly on it. Yes. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Silly game. But anyway, basically what that does when you set a beacon, when you're outside, it'll it'll, it'll be a pillar of light you'll ah. see in the sky, and that's basically just a way to find your way around. I still want to know how she does that. Magic hair! I forget, what do you get in the treasure chest? Ah. You 
won't get the heart this way. It was in here, right? Yeah, but there was a chest. Oh. There was a chest she said you could get. Said to take the contents from this chest. Oh, I thought that's what she offered. Oh well. <laughs> we'll get that we'll, later. We'll go back after this awesome scene. Well, see, it's just showing you what I was uh, mentioning the earlier. There, there's the beacon. I'm pretty sure she said there was a tre treasure chest. Yeah, I know. She said that. I thought it was yeah. through that door. Right. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be here. I think it's like to the side here. Dang it. We'll go to the side of here. Or the other side, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. There it is. Probably gonna be rupees. Oh, whoa. Revitalizing potion. This potion fully replenishes your shield gauge. It also restores four hearts. Four and, hearts, Brian. And, 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 and it also gives you your first bottle of the game. Which is gonna be useful. <laughs> Yeah, you teach those pots. Teach them a lesson. A lesson to not be a pot. Remember, kids, pots are bad. Reminds me of an old Facebook. Or no, yeah, it was Facebook. <laughs> What's that? It shows a like a pot store. A pot store? Just like a vase pot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Go on. Not drugs. <laughs> this, this is a uh, drug free. Sorry, sorry. Continue. But, uh. Basically, it was that store and then it just shows Link just look, staring at it with his eyes open, just like heavy breathing. Oh, yes. It's like. <gasps> oh, yes. I do believe I've. I've seen similar posts like that, but it was more of him staring at an open field of grass, as you're doing right now. With. The obsession to cut grass. It's, it's customary. It is the tradition to cut all of the grass. Oh, you missed a blade. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. <laughs> special. This one gets special treatment. Oh, there you go. There, it has special treatment. There, you, the you've only satisfied one. Link's need to cut grass. Oh, well, hey, we got some. Hey, it's the first Goron. You got some. The only Goron. Oh, yeah, yeah, the only one in existence. And then we here have the classic Marvin. <laughs> hey, they'll block your sword, so you gotta attack on a bit of while they're holding their sword. <laughs> I think successfully. Saved his ass. Because they were doing nothing to hurt him. Oh, this is the map guy. The map guy? Tell me who's the map guy. Oh, his name's Gorko. I didn't know he had a name. Must have missed that the first time. Oh, he, he's more of a historian guy. Gotcha. I love the goddesses. And that's up in Skyloft somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, basically... Oh, that's that place in the Thundercloud, isn't it? You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Pretty sure that's mm. it. Oh! This is like the smartest Goron too. Yeah, for uh, for the first technically the first Goron we see, they kind of dim down afterwards. Oh. 
like his nose. What is he trying to explain now? No, he's just going on and on about the Isle of the Goddesses. The goddesses. Mm. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, god. No, no, no. Yes, yes. We I want to hear more. No, yes, we, too oh. late. Gosh. Oh, look at that. I love how they give you the option to choose, but then you get the same answer regardless. It like, was. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Standing near a statue Ooh. makes it. Whoa! <laughs> Man, I've never seen a statue before. What in the world just happened? Do you see some kind of magic? I, I just saw it go chrome. Oh. I'd say it's a neutral steel color. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. What do you want you to do? Anyway, if you haven't figured it out yet, the. Bird statues are just a way to... What? Why do you go in the sky? Nah. We gotta explore Farron Woods. Why the freak him out? No. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, what I was trying to say is the bird statue is just your way of saving and as we saw, traveling back up to Skyloft. Oh yeah, let me check something. Yeah, she's out in the middle of the woods. What it looks like. Oh, you're gonna have to. Oh, yeah, yeah you're gonna get on the other side, yeah. Roll that. Link shows incredible. Wait, that's hollow, isn't it? Forget what I said. Forest place. I hate these places. I love all the little buggies. Oh, it's all nature-like. Oh god! Oh god, V. Oh, we so we've entered Farron Woods. Oh my god! Congratulations! I would have never guessed. Big oh, tree. Oh Something's gonna go on down there. It's full of nature. I don't like it. I don't like it. Nature's pretty neat, isn't it? This serves as both. Forest and the water. Don't like it. Don't like it. One out of ten. Too many trees. <laughs> One too many trees. Alright, so we are now officially in Farron Woods, and we've encountered another statue. Now I'm just gonna say it. the heck of it. But stay tuned to the next video! Where we're gonna, just gonna look at this, just go through this whole stupid place. We might, we might go look at that rope that's hanging over there on the next episode. I see trees. I don't like it. I see trees with glowing orange parts. <laughs> Too much nature. I don't like One it. One out of ten. Anyway, zero miss three. And bright. Till next video.